We are about to embark on a 100 hour bus journey across Europe. Starting in Istanbul, this adventure will take us across nine different countries all the way to Lisbon. A breathtaking journey that stretches across an entire continent with all of its beautiful cultures and landscapes. But also a journey that tempted us to throw ourselves in front of the bus on numerous occasions. I think I'm gonna go mentally insane. It all started with the first bus in Istanbul when our bus driver decided to crash into a tree one minute into the journey. Station. It's funny that he immediately crashed into a tree. <laughs> like the back of the bus didn't even leave the bus station yeah. and we already crashed. If that's a sign of things to come. Unfortunately, it was. Later, we would see our driver smuggle cigarettes into Europe by hiding them in the roof of the bus, which didn't end well. They were being stopped by police. But why were we doing this trip in the first place? So a few months ago, my friend Pim and I decided to ask Tommy, a member of our favorite YouTube channel, Yes Theory, to give us a crazy travel challenge anywhere in the world. And he delivered. Yeah, I can do any challenge. Any, anything you crazy, you literally anything. I want you to take a single bus ride from the two furthest points in Europe. Are you really gonna do this? Because <laughs> I did the one across America. So now you're doing the one across Europe. Guess so. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we ended up on the first bus of the journey, taking us from Istanbul in Turkey to Bucharest in Romania. In the first hours of the journey, we quickly befriended the staff of the bus. Yes, friends. Hey. Which brings us to the part where our drivers illegally smuggle cigarettes into Europe. A few hours later, we arrived at the Bulgarian border, where our driver bought an incredible amount of cigarettes at the tax-free shop. And then our bus drivers just hid like a sh ton of cigarettes all over the bus, like some up here in some secret compartment, and they're gonna try to get them across the border. Even we might be in trouble if they get caught. Though. Now, before the police find the cigarettes, first, a quick briefing on the journey. See, the official longest bus ride across Europe is a 50-hour journey from Romania to France. But to make the challenge as intense as possible, we decided to add two buses to that journey. One before it, and one after it. We made the layovers as short as possible to ensure a continuous bus journey, but by doing so, we risk missing our next buses. And unfortunately, because of the long waiting time at the Bulgarian border, that is exactly what happened. I guess we're gonna miss a bus. Say bye to the 80 hour journey. Hello, 100 hour journey. <laughs> the journey with the shortest possible layover times now included layovers in Bucharest, Vienna, and Paris. But before we could enjoy those cities, we had to make sure not to end up in jail. I think we're being stopped by police. Passport control again. <laughs> So we just got stopped by Romanian police and all the cigarettes that they hid all over the bus that they were trying to sneak into Romania, at least a few of those got confiscated. Uh, so they're pretty grumpy right now. So after a horrible night with dark Bulgarian and Romanian roads and only one hour of sleep each, we finally arrived in Bucharest. Here's what to do on a seven hour layover in Bucharest. Throw a dance move. All right, let's explore Bucharest. <laughs> what just happened, Ruben? I just broke my f***ing bag. <laughs> mom, this is my mom's bag. <laughs> Look guys, this is how you know you're in book arrest. No. Kiss her. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. <laughs> we might as well enjoy ourselves on this trip. We haven't even had breakfast yet, bro. <laughs> We're already gonna drink it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. Cheers. Cheers to Romania. A nice beer, beautiful weather, new country that I've never been in. Life's not too bad right now. It's gonna get worse though, pretty soon. All right, it's time for bus number two. This bus will take us from here, Bucharest, all the way to Vienna. 22 hours. We spent the start of bus two chatting to this guy from Morocco. This guy's crazy. I had been looking forward to meeting people from all over the world on this bus trip and talking to this guy and sharing stories for hours had me feeling very grateful. I'm actually really enjoying this ride through Romania. Romania is so beautiful. It's incredibly beautiful. As much as we place emphasis on how horrible this trip is, there's also some very special moments. Definitely. We are about to enter country number four, Hungary. I was just asleep and then they were like, show me your passport. It's so hard to fall asleep on a bus and then you finally fall asleep and then they're like, passport. Passport, little bitch. I slept through the entire country of Hungary. 
and I woke up at the border of country number five, Austria. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, baby. Yeah. My knee hurts, my back hurts, my neck hurts. Tired as f but hey, at least we have Vienna. Hey. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's get on some scooters and explore Vienna. Now, before we could rent some scooters and cruise through the enchanting Viennese streets, there was one more thing to do. As you can see, my back strap broke off. So, Pim has found a genius solution. <laughs> oh no. you do the job. <laughs> Let's get on some scooters. <laughs> so crazy like 24 hours ago we were in Bucharest having a beer 48 hours ago we were in Istanbul having a kebab and right now we're driving our scooters through Vienna Woo! <laughs> wow beautiful Vienna guten tag wie geht's gut hello Uh, at least my feet are clean now. This thing has been on my back for so long now, it really hurts. You look like such an idiot, bro. <laughs> 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 All right, time for bus number three to Paris. We're at 48 hours, and to celebrate that, we're gonna offer vodka shots to the entire bus. <laughs> It's gonna be so awkward. People are gonna get mad. Hello everyone, I quickly want to say something. We all know how horrible bus drives can be. So to lighten the mood, we brought some vodka and we want to offer everyone a vodka shot. Now we have to sit on this bus with people who got angry at us and the entire bus saw us getting humiliated. Ah bro, <laughs> now only we have 20 more hours. Only 20 more hours on this bus. <laughs> vodka time. Cheers. We are past the halfway mark. Yeah, it's time to celebrate. Should we do a show? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. What else is there to do? It is what it is. This is the first time I'm lying down in what? 54 hours? <laughs> <laughs> There's a point in this trip where you don't care anymore. You just want to sleep. Good night. Good morning. We are just arriving Not in Paris. Good. Not good morning. Morning. We just arrived in Paris. It was the worst fucking bus ride I've ever had. Welcome to Paris, baby. Hello. <laughs> It's raining in Paris. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna order in French, watch and learn. Okay. De café. <laughs> Shut the f <laughs> up. <laughs> That's my line. Okay. Bonjour. Uh, de café, s'il vous plaît. Merci. This is the face of a man who's defeated. <laughs> Only 26 hours on the bus to go. Smile! It's okay. Mm. How are you? Good, and yourselves? Oh, I'm good. Sorry, Sorry if we're homeless. You can see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the last bus. I honestly thought going into this that this would just be pure torture, but I'm gonna be honest, the vast majority of it has been a lot of fun. Like, especially the, the layovers, but also moments in the bus where we met new people and made friends. So yeah, we're feeling very thankful. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, bro? Vidal. Nice to meet you, bro. Time for shots, round two. <laughs> Hello everyone, I have a quick question. My friend and I have too much vodka left, so if anyone wants any vodka, <laughs> we're offering some shots. Go on then, Hopefully it helps me to sleep. You want one? Amazing. I did not expect three people to say yes. What is going on? <laughs> you want one too? Yeah, Amazing, that's four people. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a party on the bus. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers. Cheers. All right, let us know if you want another shot. <laughs> we still have left. Yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. Amazing. That was a success. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, this is kind of our fourth layover. We have 30 minutes here, not in a big city, but in the middle of nowhere in Spain. The culture shock just keeps happening every 12 hours. It's so cool. It's like my brain can't comprehend that every single time we get out of the bus, we're in a completely different culture. Only a few more hours. Let's do this. We are about to enter Portugal, the final country. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Portugal! Portugal! Lisbon, here we come. This is the final push, baby. 5,000 kilometers <laughs> later, nine countries later, we have finally made it. Atenção, senhoras e senhores, Lisboa, Oriente. Woo! Thank you! This is the moment we've been waiting for. Freedom! Woo! We're yes! Here. We did it! We did it! Finally done. What a journey it's been. All right, let's get to our hotel and finally get some sleep. Let's see how we get there. And, and don't forget the shower. Yeah, finally get to shower. We have to take a bus to our hotel. 